I think he, Mr. Boyd deserves this award because we have so many people that labor in the fields over the years who have really cared about the community and do, do it quietly. So sometimes persons are not going to boast about themselves. We, a lot of people, we weren't raised that way. So it's good for the community to recognize what Mr. Boyd has done for our community throughout the years and what they're still, the family is still doing. Yeah. Because of his service that he's rendered, not just as, a, as an employer or a businessman, but as a civic activist. I'm extremely honored. This indicates Mr. Boyd indeed is being recognized as a part of living history. As we go up and down the street now, as it's renamed William F. Boyd Senior Way, we'll remember all he has contributed. Outstanding. Just outstanding. Couldn't couldn't think of a better guy to uh, give a, a high honor like this to. There are very few people that fall in that kind of category. He's one of them. Okay. Oh, he's been such a great community servant over the years. I have known him since 1958 when he rescued me. I was a student at Western Reserve University, recently married and, and broke. And he allowed me to come and live in this facility on the second floor, my wife and I. And so we could walk to school from here, to Western Reserve from here. And if, without him, I would not be a medical doctor today. Professional. He is a um, role model for any business person to, um, to um, take a business, to grow the business, and keep it relevant for, for many years, and then to be able to transition it to his, the next generation within the family. And he's a leader, and he learned, you know, he got it from his dad, his dad. So a, a, a consummate um, professional. Welcome, everyone, to the honorary designation of William F. Boyd Sr. Way. The city of Cleveland's history is reflected in the names we give our buildings, monuments, and organizations. Many have withstood the test of time to stand as testaments to who we are. Our roads, avenues, drives, and boulevards tell our streets as well. If we were to quiz you on why a street was given a certain name, the answer might come to mind right away if it's Stokes Boulevard or MLK Boulevard, but other throughways have names far less familiar. There's no chance of unfamiliarity with William F. Boyd Sr. Way. Amen. The name reflects four generations of one of Cleveland's and Ohio's most successful businesses and one of our most endeared families. The genesis for this event took place several months ago in the home of Kevin and Callie Strickland on Linwood Avenue. Kevin, president of the Forest City Tennis Club, the nation's oldest black tennis club founded in 1912, and Alicia Cooper Lowe, who works for Cleveland Clinic, Councilman Jeffrey Johnson and I were sitting in their dining room working as a committee on the plans to honor Judge Dean Murrow Capers on Sunday, May 27th at the Rockefeller Tennis Courts where Mayor Jackson and Councilman Jeff Johnson would formally change the name of the courts in, honor, in her honor and name the driveway after Forest City Tennis Club Drive. Well, while sitting there, the Lord put it on this little mind, this little, little mind, that perhaps Councilwoman Mamie Mitchell might be willing to honor Bill Boyd in some form or fashion. Immediately I got on the phone and I called her and asked her to consider doing some honorary <coughs> designation on East 89th after Mr. Boyd. She said, I'd be honored to. Several days later, I met with Marcella and Marina and Pepper would have been in the room, but he was with the family. So I, we talked and the, the sisters gave me a couple of dates and we said, we'll send this on downtown to Mamie and then she'll talk to the mayor's office. So 
July 21st, 2012 was selected in the mayor's office, and as they say, the rest is history. It is a great honor to be here, to do something for someone who has meant so much to so many. We should never lose sight of the fact that this is not only a prosperous business that has gone on for decades. It's a business where the Boyd family cares for our family and friends at some of the darkest, most difficult moments of our lives when we've lost our mother, when we've lost our father, or God forbid we've lost our son or lost our daughter. And it is those caring hearts and hands that help our families cope with the loss and realize that there is dark now, but there is light soon and that the Lord is always there to help each one of us through and that we do not have to worry because our loved ones are in the perfect hands. Yes. And they know. Uh, many of you know I had a prior life before I became mayor of the city of Warrensville Heights and some of that took me around the world traveling. And uh, during my travels I lost, I happened to lose my mother, my father in 1997 and my mother in 1998, months apart, just months apart. And both times I was over in Europe uh, playing. And so when I got the call from my family, both my parents had passed away. Suddenly, obviously I knew that the Boyd funeral home was in, was in Warrensville, and so I made a call to uh, uh, Mr. Boyd and family. And the one thing that I do remember about the entire process, because those who have been through the grieving process knows that it is, it is traumatic. Uh, they said, do what you do. We got you covered. And when you get off the plane, just rest assured that your family is in great hands because it's like our family. And I will tell you that both times that I had to get off that plane, that everything was in order, was in store, and I have never forgotten it, ever. So I want to thank you for my family personally. I met Bill in 1958 when I was a recently married student and employee at Western Reserve University. We were having financial difficulty. Delma was going to school. I was going to school. So we met Mr. Boyd, and he invited us to live here in this building on the second floor in his funeral home. The deal was that in exchange for free rent and utilities and all that stuff, I would do a little bit around here, you know, take care of a few things. But the amazing thing about Bill Boyd is every time I did anything, he would slip me some cash. <laughs> Every time he'd give me some cash. If there were no Bill Boyd, there would be no MD behind my name. Thank you, thank you. But I remember as a teenager, we had a youth choir. And part of the song was, we used to march in on, give me my flowers while I yet live, so that I can see the beauty that they give. Speak kind words to me while I am yet here so that I can hear the comfort that they bring. So, sir, I am so pleased to be able to, to uh, represent, uh, I have a lot of, a lot of uh, what we call reflections to mention to you, but I'm just really glad that you are here with us to get what you deserve. And also, And thank you, Miss Mary, for sticking with him. You know, um, Mr. Boyd is a true Clevelander. Uh, when I was reading his bio, it said he was born on 38th and Central, uh, is the street where I currently live. He was raised in Cleveland, uh, went to school in Cleveland. His business is in Cleveland. He serves Clevelanders. And, and as all have mentioned, he's done it with dignity, with integrity, and, and I've also have learned that, in fact, he could not say no. But it, in his not being able to say no, it was to the benefit of so many people, so many people, not just in Cleveland, but throughout the world. So it is my honor uh, to uh, present this proclamation. I will not read it, but it is my honor to present this proclamation uh, recognizing this day and the dedication of the street in your honor. I also want to unveil the sign that will be on the street. I guess it will be several of these signs on the street. <laughs> and, um, and this is...
how much it has meant to me to live in the shadow of my father, Elmer Elkerwood, who has, has, has led me to continue to maintain operations of, of business. It's also been a great joy to me to have such a wonderful family, a family that has stood by me and helped me all through these many, many years. It is impossible. I could have never come this far if God, his own wisdom, had not seen the efforts that the members of this family have employed. And at my stage of development, I realize that all I have now is the friendship of so many of you tonight. It really, I can't begin to thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the things that the people of Cleveland have meant not only to my family, but to me. And I never realized what I had accomplished until the thought was brought to me about this honor. Uh, I've never thought in terms that, any, that I should be honored today as you all have done. And Mayor Jackson, uh, Mrs. Mitchell, and others like you have helped, kept me going throughout the many, many years that I've been here. I think back and say, thank God for all of you. Thank you. I started with my dad back in the 60s, and I really had no desire to do this. I said, you got to be crazy. <laughs> and here I said, I try. And here it's like 47 years later, and I'm still trying. <laughs> I used to hear my dad make the comment when my grandfather was alive. He said, when, when troubles were apparent in the building, my dad used to say, go down the hall. <laughs> well, my grandfather died. So then the problems went to dad. Because when people came to me, I said, he's down the hall. <laughs> well, today, there's nobody down the hall but me. <laughs> so, so, with that being said, I, God gave a gift to our family. And I just happened to be at the right place at the right time because through their dynamite leadership, their love of their family, uh, their undying desire to take care of people. I, I'm telling you, uh, my father has always talked about take care of the people yes. that are around you because they will always take care of you. Yeah.